Hello friends, here we are going to see the timing diagram of AT85. This is the first part of my video and we, in this particular video we are going to see how to calculate the number of T states of AT85. First of all, before we start, let us understand the concept of T state. In front of you, one clock cycle is shown to you and T state is nothing but the time period of one clock cycle that is called as 1T. A machine cycle is the time taken by the microprocessor to complete a particular operation. Instruction cycle is the time taken by the microprocessor to complete the execution of a particular instruction. There are five different types of machine cycles. First one is opcode fetch machine cycle. Second one is memory read machine cycle. Third memory write machine cycle. Fourth one is input output read machine cycle. Fifth one is input output write machine cycle. The opcode fetch machine cycle most of the times it takes 40 states. For few instructions, it may also take 60 states. All other machine cycles will always take 30 states. Let us consider the instruction MVI A, 57H. The immediate data 57H is to be copied to the accumulator. This instruction is a 2 byte instruction and it requires two bytes of space in the memory one for opcode and other is for data that is 57H in this case. Therefore it requires one opcode fetch for fetching this particular opcode and one memory read for reading the data 57H from the memory. All the instructions they require they necessarily require opcode fetch machine cycle and uh, the other cycles will be changing depending on what is the meaning of the instruction and what is the data associated with that instruction. So next instruction is MVI M comma immediate data. In this particular case, the number of cycles required are three, opcode fetch owing to fetching of opcode, memory read owing to reading of the given data 04H from the memory and memory write owing to write writing of 04H to the memory. So number of T states required are 10. Next instruction is LDA address for example LDA2034. This instruction will load the contents of accumulator to the given address. In this case number of machine cycles required are first is opcode fetch is necessarily present. Second is memory read owing to reading of lower order by 34H from the memory. Memory read again to read the higher order by that is 20H in this case from the memory. And one more memory write in order to write the contents of accumulator to the address 2034H. Next instruction is Alexa register pair comma 16 bit data. For example, LXI H, 2034H. This instruction will copy the contents 2034 into HL register pair. Number of machine cycles required in this case are first is opcode fetch owing to fetching of opcode. Second one is memory read owing to reading of 34H that is lower byte from the memory. And third one is memory read again to read the 20H from the memory. Remember, there is no any memory write because HL register pair is the part of the microprocessor, it is not the part of the memory. Next instruction is LHLD 16 bit address. It will load the HL pair direct into the given address. For example, LHLD 2040H. The number of T states number of machine cycles required in this particular case is 5. First one is opcode fetch owing to fetching of opcode. Second one is memory read owing to reading of the lower byte of the given address that is 40H in this case from the memory. Memory read owing to reading of 20H from the memory which is a higher byte. Next is next machine cycle is memory read owing to reading of 2040H contains which will be written to the register L 
and another memory read owing to reading of 2041H contents which will be stored in register H. So there will be 5 number of machine cycles and it will require 16 T states, 4 for opcode fetch and remaining 4 machine cycles will take 3 T states each. STA address. So 16 bit address let us consider STA2500. This instruction will require 4 machine cycles. First machine cycle is opcode fetch, second one is memory read and third one is also memory read in order to read the lower and higher byte of the address that is 00 and 25H respectively. The next machine cycle in this instruction STA will store the contents of the accumulator to the given address. So it will require one memory write instruction for writing the contents of accumulator to address in this case 2500H. Next instruction is XTHL. It will exchange the contents of HL register pair with the top of the stack. It requires 5 number of machine cycles. One is opcode fetch which is necessarily present in all the instructions. Second one is memory read to read the contents. Let us say the stack pointer is having top of the stack at 4000H in this case. So memory read to read the top of the stack. Thereafter another memory read to read the next address of the to read the contents from the next address of the stack memory and memory write to write the contents of L to the stack memory in this case 4000H and memory write to write the contents of H to the stack memory with the address 4001H. So in all it takes 16 number of T states and 5 number of machine cycles. Next instruction is push RP. This instruction will push the contents of the register pair onto the stack. For example, let us consider push B instruction. In this particular case, it will put the contents of register pair BC onto the stack. It requires three number of machine cycles. First is opcode fetch owing to fetching of opcode. Second one is memory write owing to writing of some data from the register B to the memory and another memory write owing to writing of some data from register C to the memory and stack pointer in this case will be decremented by 2. Next instruction is out 8 bit address. This instruction will also require three number of machine cycles. First is of code fetch. Second one is memory read owing to reading of 78H in this case from the memory. And third one is input output write to write the contents of the accumulator to the given port address in this case 78H. Therefore the number of T states are 10 and uh, cycles required are upcode fetch, memory read and input output write. Next instruction is in 8 bit address for example in 8CH this will also require one upcode fetch, one memory read to read 8CH from the memory and another is also input output read to read the contents from the port and it will be copied into the accumulator. Next instruction is dad rp. This instruction is the direct addition of register pair rp contents to the HL register pair. In this case it requires only one opcode fetch cycle. But because it requires the addition of two 8 bit numbers it will require two bus idle states which will be of 3D states and they will not do anything. So number of T states required will be 10 in this case. INRM this instruction requires 3 number of machine cycles of code fetch, 
memory read owing to reading of contents from the memory and one memory write in order to increment and write that incremented content to the memory. So total number of T states required are 10 in this case. Compare M. This instruction requires two number of machine cycles, one for opcode fetch and other for memory read in order to read the memory contents. So number of T states required are Next instruction is complement accumulator CMA. It requires only one opcode fetch machine cycle and number of T states required. CMC complement carry. Once again, in this case, the number of machine cycle required is one that is nothing but the opcode fetch. When we execute the return instruction in that particular case, program counter shall be loaded with the contents from the stack memory. Therefore, it requires three number of machine cycles. One is for opcode fetch and two for memory read to read the contents from the stack memory and PC shall be loaded with the contents from the stack memory. Therefore, the total number of T states required are 10. Now, up till now we have seen all the instructions where the opcode fetch machine cycle is of four T states. But there are few instructions which are listed in front of you, those are having the opcode fetch machine cycle consisting of six number of T states. For example, these instructions are call, conditional return, reset instruction, INX, RP or DCX, it may be M or it may be RP or SPHL, PCHL and PUSH. These are the instructions which requires six number of T. Now let us consider the instruction call. The call instruction basically requires three number of machine cycles. One is for opcode fetch and two are for memory read in order to read the contents from the memory corresponding to address. For example, call 2034, it will require reading of 20 and 34 from the memory and in this particular case the stack pointer will hold the next instruction address and it will be saved in the stack memory therefore it requires two number of memory writes in this particular case the opcode of h is of 60 states therefore 6 plus 3 into 4 that is 18 number of t states when it is a unconditional call. Next is restart instruction requires three number of machine cycles. One is for opcode fetch and second is for memory write and memory write. Basically restart instruction is same as that of the call instruction only the vectored address in this particular case are fixed and those addresses has to be written onto the stack pointer next address of the next instruction to be executed is to be written on the stack pointer therefore it requires two number of memory writes and total number of cycles required are three and total number of t states are six plus six that is twelve let us see the conditional jump instruction the conditional jump instruction has two conditions. One condition is similar to that of unconditional jump when the conditional is satisfied. And other is when the condition is not satisfied. So when we write the jump instruction or if the conditional jump in instruction if the condition is satisfied, in that particular case it requires three number of machine cycles. One is for opcode fetch and other two are for memory read that is the for reading the data followed by the jump instruction in the given address but if the conditional jump instruction condition is not satisfied in that particular case the conditional jump instruction will require only two number of machine cycles one is of code fetch and one is memory read this is because while checking the while well, checking the condition, it will have one memory read and if the condition is false, it will not go for the next 
memory read cycle. That is why the number of T states required in this case are 7, that is 4 for upward fetch and 3 for memory read. We have already seen the conditional call instruction that uh, if the condition is true, it will behave as normal call instruction, unconditional call instruction. In that case, the number of machine cycles were 5 and number of D states required were 18. Now, similar to the jump instruction, if the conditional call fails, for example, if we have call if carry, in that particular case, it will require only two number of cycles, one is upcode fetch and one is memory read because while fetching the memory read, it will understand that uh, the condition is false, it will check the carry flag by the time and if condition is false, in that case, it will not do or go for the remaining machine cycles. And with this, we have finished this particular topic. And I hope that you have understood the concept of how to find T states in most of the instructions of 8085. And I hope that you will find this particular video lecture useful. And if you find it useful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this particular lecture. Thank you so much once again.